Hello, today I am going to create a constructor inside a class and this constructor is having some separate syntax as that init constructor does. So at first let us have some example. Let's have two columns and right here I am going to talk about this init constructor. So this is present inside some class. So I'm going to name this class as simple C and inside this class I'm going to have some function. So this is a init, a constructor. So this is going this may take some values like argument 1 and argument 2 and so on so this class is having this constructor and we can create some variable like argument some variable like variable 1 having this value and variable to having this value and so on so this is a constructor for this class and now I'm going to use this data class so I'm going to at first I'm going to import this data class and this is present inside a module called data classes so this will be from data classes I am going to import this data class and after that I am going to use this at the rate data class and after that I am going to provide or I am going to create a class name C and right here I am going to have some different syntax like you see here I'm going to provide some value like variable 1 so variable 1 is going to have some type of data so it can be some integer you can provide that and make sure I this is not a default so let us create some different variable so this is variable 2 which is going to store a float value or float data type and finally I'm going to create a default variable for this for this variable variable 3 is going to have some default value so how to provide that so I need to provide this in int so it is going to be integer value and you can provide whatever value you can provide it here so this must be present after this equal to and you need to define what is the type of the data for what you are store, storing in this variable so this is going to be a value something like one so this is how you can create this type of variables and main thing you can see here I'm having this self but here I'm not having this self and we can call we can use these variables in some methods inside this class so let us have some file so I'm going to use this file and right here I'm going to have some basic class so I'm not going to create a class by this data class so I'm going to create a simple class so this is having this in it a constructor and this is having this self and this is going to take some values and this variable is going this is going to have some default value and make sure all this default must be present at this right side and this is going to have some value 3 and after that I'm going to create this variable 1 and variable 2 and 
variable three. So all these are going to have these three corresponding values. And make sure this variable is going to have this value, but these two variables are not having any type of values like this does. This does have this default variable. This means that you have to provide these two values while when you're calling this class. So let me have some example like so this is going to be class variable. So this is going to call this class and I need to provide these two values for this. And so this is going to have this value one and value two. And let me print this class variable, this variable value. And so this is having this value one and if you want to see this in form of dictionary you can have this so now here this variable is having this value but in this dictionary this is going to be said as a key and we are saying this as a value and this key is having this value so you can store in some type of variable this value and you can call this class to get this type of value so and also let us have some method like some method one. So this is going to be self and let us provide this some document. So this is going to return this str and now I'm going to return or oh, let me have some Otherwise, let me return this self dot variable one plus self dot variable two. So now, instead of this, I'm going to call this method one. So this is not going to take any type of values. And let me check this value. So I'm having this value one and value two. So I have used this arrow and this star because if suppose I want to print so I'm going to use this help and I'm going to provide this class and let me check this value and you see here I'm having this this method and so this is actually a method and I have created this method and you see here I have provided this so I'm getting this type of value so to have this I have provided this str otherwise you can provide some type of value so this is so let me run this program again and you see here I am getting this thing so this is some tips so this is all about this class and let me have some different file and right here I'm going to import this data classes so let me have so this is the data classes so I'm going to import this data class so I'm going to import this data classes and otherwise let me only import this data class I'm only going to import this data class and now I'm going to have this at the rate this data class and after that I'm going to create a class so this is a simple class C and right here I'm going to create some type of variables so I'm going to create a variable one which is going to have some string and variable 2 is also going to have string and variable 3 is going to have this string and not only that it is going to have this default value so as here I have provided this value so in the same way this variable is going to have some default value as value 3 
and right now let me create it let us have this class variable so which is going to call this class and right here this variable 1 and variable 2 are not defaults and let me check whether I'm going to get any type of error or not so right here indirectly I am having this init function so this is missing two positional argument for this variable 1 and variable 2 so let us provide a value 1 and value 2 and let me check this value so I'm not getting any type of error and let me check this class variable in form of dictionary so I'm having these three variables which is having their corresponding values so in this dictionary these are said as keys and these are said as values and to understand it better let us have this for three times and right here you can provide this keys and you can provide these values and you see here I'm getting this so these three are keys and these three are values so main thing here is the length of these keys and these values are same so this is additional additional tip and so this is how you can create this different syntax and this is also going to be creating this type of init as shown earlier and so right now let us have some type of method like method 1 so I'm going to have this cell so this is going to return addition of this variable 1 and variable variable 2 and so this is going to return variable 1 plus variable 2 and let us check this value I think I'm going to get some type of error because as earlier I have said that this is going to create some type of constructor like let me check this value and so you see here this init is saying it is missing two variables so this means that indirectly I am having some init constructor so because of that let us have this again I need to provide this self at this place otherwise let me check this value and so let me check let me print this class variable and let me call this method 1 so variable 1 is not defined and I'm using this self and let us have self and this as self so this means that you don't have to write self dot variable 1 and self dot variable 2 same thing for this variable 3 and this is how you can create some type of defaults and if you, you suppose you are placing it above and so this is a some wrong syntax so as I said earlier all these defaults must be present at this bottom and when you are talking about this standard class this arguments are going to have default value at this right side so all these defaults must be staying at the right side no argument must be something like this at the middle or at the right side of this default so now let us have some more example like so this is actually creating a constructor 
and let us have some let me check this value again and let us have some separate so separate file and let us have these two things and right here I'm going to create a class so again I'm going to provide this class name as simple C and right here you suppose I'm having this constructor and if suppose I'm providing this variable one which is having this string and this variable two is having some again the same type string and this variable three is going to have some default so I need to provide some type of type so what type of data is this argument or is this variable is going to store so this is going to have some string again which is going to have some default value as value 3 and let us check let us have this variable 1 which is going to be this variable 1 and self dot variable 2 and self dot variable 3 so these three are going to have these corresponding variables so variable 3 and variable 2 and variable 3 so this is having this value and this class variable is having this value and this class variable is having this variable 1 and all these are string you can provide int for integer so right now at first let us create a class variable to check whether this init is working properly or not and when I'm going to call any type of class this init function is going to run at this first place so if this happens let me print some value yes init runs first and so now I'm going to call this class and I need to provide Two values because these two are not defaults so this is going to have this value 1 and this variable 2 is going to have this value 2 and finally I'm going to print this class variable in form of this dictionary so I'm having all this variable values and so this is how you you can also create this type of syntax and let me check if I'm going to remove this thing and so I'm getting this value and you see here I'm getting this statement so this means that when I'm going to create any type of class this init function runs at the first place and now let us have some method right about this init constructor to check whether this function runs or not if this position is somewhere else other than this first position so I'm going to create a method 1 so this is going to have this self and so this is going to return otherwise let us have this so at, a, at first let us return some value self dot variable 1 plus self dot variable 2 and now I'm going to print this class variable and I'm going to call this method 1 so this is not taking any type of value otherwise let us have some type of value so this is going to be something like value 4 and so this is a default and let us have this plus this is a argument so let us check this value so I'm having this value so this actually works so no matter where this init is present this runs first and so because of that all these variables are going to be created and in this class only we can assess or we can grab these variable values and if you are trying to print this 
self dot variable one so I'm going to get this error so these variables are only going to be present inside this class and only this methods which is having this self can get all this value and let us have some type of something like some document this is otherwise let us have written this value and let us have brackets something like this and I'm going to use this help again help of this class so this is the class so I'm having all of this and methods defined here so these two are methods and I'm having this document and if suppose you want to see the size of these variables so how much size of data is this going to store and let us have all this code at this place and let's remove this and otherwise let us have this So instead of this variable 3 let us have this integer and let this be some value like 24 and to understand it better let us have some new file and let us save this as test.py So right here let us have some variable so this is going to store some integer and let me print this dir of this variable. So this is the integer so integer is stored inside this variable in other words this variable is storing this integer so I have these things and let me have in this multi line comment so this is for this this integer so integer having all these things so this is for integer and if suppose and also in this integer I might have this yeah I have this size of so we can see how much bytes of memory or how much bytes is this data is having so to know more about that I'm going to use this so this variable is having this element so because of that I can actually see that by the help of this dir so because of that this variable is having this thing so I'm going to use this thing and let me check this value so it is storing this 28 and we need to check that what is the what is this 28 is it a bits or bytes so to know more about that I'm going to use this help and I'm only going to see this size of and let me check this value so this is going to return this size in memory in bytes so its unit is bytes so this variable is going to store 28 bytes for this value so that is for this integer and if this is some type of so 
otherwise let us make this as 24 and let us make this as multi-line comment and now so all this stuff is for this integer and you suppose we have this variable which is having some string like value 1 and if suppose you are going to print this dir of this variable I am having this entire separate value so these things and these things are not the same so these all things are available only when this variable is going to store some integer and when this variable is going to store some type of string I am having all these methods and right here I also have this size of so let me check so at first let me check this document for this size of so again I have this same thing and but here I have this string size of the string in memory and its units is bytes and after that let me print this variable size of and so it is going to store this many bytes of memory for this value and let me provide some diff let me add some another value so 56 for this and let me add again so this is for 57 so this is adding new bytes when I'm going to add some one element so this is for string and you suppose I have this as some float like 1.2 so again I have this value if this is a float and so main thing here is these methods like so these methods are available for only this integer type and for string that is having some different methods and for float even this does have some different element so let me check that so this float is having something different as compared to this integer so integer having these all values at the last and right here I have these things for this variable which is having this type of data and main thing here is in this type of syntax we can actually indirectly creating this init method so and right here by seeing these things we can understand that this variable is going to store some type of string and let us check this value again so if suppose I am going to store this integer and so right here it is saying this I'm having this type error so when I'm going to call this method this is actually adding this integer and a string so because of that I have this unsupported plus sign for integer and a string so let us make this as a number 2 so now I don't have any type of error because these two are having the same data type it can be string or it can be integer but both of them must have the same data type that data type can be string or integer so right now I have these things so I think that's it for this video for today and see you again 
बाय बाय